Moin Moin and greetings. It's time for a new short review on a Phoenix flashlight. Um, maybe some of you already know this housing here because it's uh, very familiar for us, um, especially when you had a look at my uh, video on RC09 Titanium. So this flashlight is using the same, same housing but made of aluminium instead of titanium. Beside that there's only one difference but we will come back to this point later. So let's have a short look at the package first. So the titanium version came with um, a nice gift box. This package here is a little bit more basic but of course when you look at the price so for the titanium it was around 100 euro and uh, the aluminium version it was oh, it is sorry only 60, 64 euro and 90 cent so it needs to come from somewhere right yeah there you can already see the difference it's an xml2 led uh, u2 bin instead of the xpl high led which is used uh, in the titanium version so we will lose a little distance but we will get some more runtime but it's um, so small the advantage and disadvantage that uh, I think you can make the decision which one to buy based on other points um, yeah no news here so let's have a look at the content. So this is just the same cable but with a different color. Um, for the titanium version it was uh, a gray gray cable. Beside that we got a holster which is just the same like for the titanium. And like we are used from Phoenix, a lanyard and a spare o-ring which is quite nice. So Let's compare the two flashlights. So no difference here. It's even the same uh, same clip, which can be detached. No difference here. So the engraving, yeah, that's that's different. For the titanium, they engraved it. Oh, let's see. Ah, here there it is. I like that more. That. Uh, why did they do this? Yes, and uh, most important, the LED. So XPL high LED on the left, and the Cree XML2 in U2 bin on the right side. And beside that, even um, the user interface is the same. So operation stays as simple as before. Just switch, press short to change the modes and hold it to activate strobe. That's it. And we will have a short look at the inside. Battery is included already. But you can also use um, AV brand or Nightcore, whatever you have, as long as it is protected and quite basic from the inside. So this also helps to make the flashlight as short as possible. Yeah, good, good quality build, just like we are used from Phoenix. So which one to buy? Yeah. Uh, I think for, for the runtime and uh, for the lumens there is nearly no difference. So um, if I would have to, to buy one of these, um, I would only make the decision based on the housing. So if you like uh, the titanium housing, which um, is still something special uh, because I think most people already have several black anodized flashlights. Maybe you can try a titanium flashlight. Uh, the difference in price is not that high, um, but if you um, want to, to make a more reasonable decision, I think uh, the RC09 will also be 
a great everyday carry flashlight. And the price uh, is very reasonable because you already have the battery and uh, you don't need um, an additional charger. So um, you spend 65 euro and you got a very nice small everyday carry flashlight. Uh, with 500 lumens, which will be more than enough, I think, to, to surf well every day. So, beside that, Phoenix brought out another flashlight using um, a magnetic charging cable. <laughs> I hope I spent, uh, uh, said it the right way. Uh, I will just show you the picture and then you know what I mean. <laughs> So uh, they also brought out um, a bigger version, with, which is using an 18650 battery for longer runtime and of course more performance. Um, I will upload the video, I hope, in the evening. So if you like, have a look there too. Thank you, bye bye.